because the government has not created opportunities and the government is an industry uh, just like the way Gashagwa said it's an industry of the known not the unknown even you you are just the uda guy who is unknown aujulikani kwa hiyo chama kuja kwa ODM kama ni uligani zimi itakupatia kazi hautatumia pesa hii mwili yako inatosha come and fight mwili yako inatosha come and fight if let me tell you one thing sometimes you have to add 1 plus 1 and see if it is not 2 then you are making the wrong wrong choice we we are not saying ruto is bad see mbaya kila mahali but there are some things that we have to question when the president wants us to do we are living in a forceful government where Kenyans are being forced to do things that they have not been consulted. When we vote in the government, we don't vote the government to force things on us. I never voted Ruto, but Ruto is now the president. I have to follow Ruto. Although si agree na eh, nitamfuata tu kwa sababu ndio president wa Kenya kikatiba because the constitution also is just a blind book that we follow cannot even talk so tukisoma lazima tuifuate but the truth is mimi nikitoa mia zangu tatu za kulipia nyumba ambayo nitaishi sio shida hakuna shida hata kidogo but mtu ambaye anaenda kuniwekea hii pesa je niko na imani na huyu mtu because if Ruto alituambia kwamba Raila na Uru walinyakuwa pesa za serikali wakaenda nazo. Yeye akiondoka atatuachia hizo pesa za nyumba. Now, Raila na Uru, you know even uh, and I've been on record saying this ya kwamba even a good chef requires ingredients to prepare the best meal. Uh, Ruto ameingia kwa serikali yenye the despot and the, the despot Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta and uh, the conman Raila Amolo Odinga if i am calling ruto you know what Listen, let me tell you I, if no wait if i am calling ruto you, the you president have called ruto i've called ruto he, a president he constitutional. yes he is in the constitution yes i've and called I'm ruto also, i've called ruto a liar i can support i you can support also, my argument also, no 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 i can support ruto is a liar because Mm-hmm. Do you remember the 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 the, the, the uh, Kenyan made funds? Where are the the, the, the funds? Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Do you remember the the the, 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 the youth who, uh, who who had been promised who had been promised jobs? Mm-hmm. Where are the well, jobs? Plan your financial plan. Watch and plan. Is the Bible plan still on air? Is the Bible still on air? Bado bibili yako kwa hewa? Haijarudi chini. Bana. Kama bibili yako kwa hewa turudi kasarani turudishe bibili ya chini. Stop cheating people. Eh? Stop. Don't don't ever and this is what the leaders should know never ever carry the bible up and give a confession with the book of god that when the book comes down then the economy will come down okay we have to go to kasarani to bring that bible down because Ruto left the Bible when the Bible is still on air. That's why they, 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 they always talk about the hot air. Now I understand the meaning of hot air. The Bible is on air. We need to bring the Bible down so that our economy can now stand. When 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 Uhuru No, no, let me finish. When Uhuru No, no, wait. Wait, wait. No, nyinyi watu wa UDA you supporting even what is wrong. When Uhuru left the government, the government was not this way. When Unga ilikuwa inapanda, let me now take you to the to, 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 to the previous history. Nyakati pembe ilipanda nyakati ya uru kenyata pembe pembe ilipanda mpaka 140 shillings 240 no leave alone juzi wacha ya 240 uh-huh. na kuambia nyakati ambayo sasa the second the second how do we call it the second term ya uru kenyata unga ilipanda pembe ilikuwa ilipanda mpaka 140 shillings uh-huh. uhuru kenyata akakuja na alternative unga ale ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa soko can you remember that Soko ikakuja at 98 shillings. Soko ikapanda. Soko ikapanda ikawa 130 shillings. Uru Kenyatta karudi tena akasema we must come with another alternative. Akakuja na unga ya 210. Unga inaitwa 210. How much was 210? 100 bob. When things are not going right, you look for alternatives. 
you don't go to the parties and going to the churches listen, to listen, jibu Raila. Listen, okay? Those... Raila, kujibu Raila, aitarudisha bei ya unga chini. Go sit down, talk to your to your team. Now unga imepanda. What can we do? Let us come with an alternative. The president in the president should not in, instead of the president coming with the alternative gas is coming with an alternative cylinder we are not investors bro we are not we are not investors we are not investing on cylinder hata hiyo cylinder kama gas inaweza bebwa na ndo we can carry it twende nayo kwa nyumba because we don't care what we don't care tunaibeba na nini what we need ni moto imewaka tumepika tumekula tumelala kazi iko tumeenda kazi mtoto ameenda shule mtoto amekuja mtoto amepata kazi that is what we care you are living in this kenya and you are a lawyer uli learn law uli somea law but where after kusomea law for two years and today since uru kenyata na ruto waingie umekosa kazi mpaka leo this guy has been, this guy has been out for 10 years 10 good years without a job ana kazi but still supporting the government that is giving nothing let me tell you what ruto will tell you today my friend nitatenga kazi ya wakili and you will be given just wait hata wewe utatengewa kazi even you utatengewa kazi it's, it's obvious i blame ruto because how can i make this book hang on air i want this book to hang this the way the bible is still on air Listen, I, I, I don't, don't cheat Kenan. Let, Ken... let us not blame Ruto for our own misfortunes. Do you know kuna watu wamezaa hata watoto wanane so, in Kenya? Do you know kuna watu wako na watoto wanane? Ni ni unani ni shida yao. Na they are paying. Mimi yes. nimezaa watoto wawili I'm comfortable with them. Yes. Kama uko na nguvu ya kuzaa nane. Now, yeah. but, don't say. Pia mimi majukumu no. yangu nini? Sasa don't say Raila pendi Mungu. Ah. If if the UDA guys can Yuko. say Mtu amezaa watoto wa nane ni shida yake Afanya na Biblia inatuambia go and supply ni kweli go and multi multi go and multiply the Bible says say that eh, and when sasa unazaa watoto wengi sasa UDA government inasema ni shida yako let me tell you watoto waine wako primary watoto waine wako secondary and let me tell you there is a time let me tell you there is a time okay let me tell you Okay there is a woman mm -hmm. there is a mama i talked to somewhere mm -hmm. this mama told, told me that ako na watoto wanne mm -hmm. from the four kids aliniambia kwamba mtoto wa kwanza alimaliza class 8 mm -hmm. na hivi ndio familia yake inaenda mtoto wa kwanza akimaliza class 8 na waache anatafuta kazi ku train the third born the third born akimaliza class 8 ana drop ku train the second The second born akimaliza class 8 ana drop ku train the last born. Kwa nini inafanyika hivi? Because the mama is a single mama who cannot pay the secondary fee not because he can't because the government has not created opportunities and the government is an industry uh, just like the way Gashagwa said it's an industry of the known not the unknown. Even you you are just the older guy who is unknown aujulikani kwa hiyo chama mm -hmm. kuja kwa ODM kama ni uligani zi mitakupatia kazi au utatumia pesa hii mwili yako inatosha come and fight <laughs> mwili yako inatosha come and fight if let me tell you one thing